Hi there. Welcome to your own channel, the Smart Online Academy. Today we are going to talk on very important topic that is really very important. Yes, today I am going to reveal some secrets how to speak English fluently and confidently. I have come to realize that understanding English is important for many people and I have a few suggestions for learning and speaking English confidently. Speaking English allows you to actually broaden your world from job opportunities to the ability to relate to people from every country. Knowing the language makes it much more interesting every trip. Education is very important to improve yourself but learning English also improves the quality of life. The reason why I have chosen this topic that is because I think everyone needs to learn the language in order to get in touch on an international level. It's very important that we should learn how to speak English fluently and confidently because it's the need of the time and not only this it gives you style in your speaking so today I'm going to share with you some of the tips and tricks and the secrets that how to speak English fluently and confidently so let's start with the first one the first tip is read out loud and talk to you yourself yes read out loud and talk to yourself why I'm going to say that read out loud because whenever you will read any sentence loudly you'll get confidence and also you will listen yourself your pronunciation your style and your intonation so that's why I've suggested you to talk to yourself and the better way to follow this tip that you talk in front of the mirror. Our next tip is listen to more English every day. Why well, I'm going to suggest that listen to more English every day because it will improve your listening skill which is really very important for speaking. If you listen correct English you can automatically pronounce the correct words and it will improve your speaking. So listen to more English every day. For that I will suggest you that you have to listen the songs, English songs and news and anything whatever according to your interest. Our next important tip is watch English movies with subtitles. If you will watch English movies with subtitles it will improve your vocabulary which is really very important and you can also learn some of the phrases according to the situation. So that's why you can watch English movies with subtitles, it will be really very helpful for you to speak English fluently. Our next tip is speak spontaneously but slowly. What do I mean when I say speak spontaneously? It means if you are speaking in a real situation, you will not have a time to think and then speak. So that's why learn some of the phrases and try to speak them spontaneously but slowly. It's really very important. You should not be speedy. Our next tip is relax and have a positive attitude. What do I mean when I say relax and have a positive attitude? It means that obviously you're on the initial stage. So you have to be patient because you are making mistakes but relax. And be positive. Obviously, you will learn from your mistakes and you will improve day by day. So relax and have a positive attitude. Now let's move to the next step. Our next step is learn and study phrases, not words. Why to learn and study phrases? Because you have to speak some sentences in real situations. If you learn only words, you will not know that where to speak and how to arrange the words in a sentence. So if you will learn and study phrases, it would be easy for you to start speaking English confidently and you will be sure yourself that I am not wrong at a time. Our next secret is slow and deep learning is best. Why I am suggesting you to slow and deep learning is best? Because whenever you are going to start learning any sentence, try to understand its background, that where to speak, how to speak, what is its correct pronunciation. So that will take time. So that's why I'll suggest you to slow and deep learning is best. Our next step is use real English lessons and material. 
and it is very important. Why it's very important? Because if you learn from here and there, it is possible that you will learn some wrong words and wrong pronunciation. So that's why I try to learn some real English lessons and material. For that you are sure that this is the correct one. For that I will suggest you that if you are listening any English or if you are watching any movie, try to follow the native speakers. You will learn the correct pronunciation and there will not be any mistake. That will give you confidence that you are right, you are speaking correctly. Our next tip is don't study too much grammar. Why not to study too much grammar? Because grammar is only for the written English and you are speaking. For the speaking, it is not necessary that you should concentrate too much on the grammar. Sometimes we are not using the perfect grammar in our speaking. So that is why do not study too much grammar. Our next tip is do not be afraid of making mistakes. Be confident. Do not be afraid of making mistakes. Because if you will make a mistake today, you will correct it tomorrow. So that is why just start speaking and do not be afraid of making mistakes. Our next tip is do not compare your English with others. It is really very important. Why I say that this is very important? Because if you will compare yourself with others, some those who have started learning before you. So that is why maybe they are speaking better than you. So you should not compare yourself with others. It is the end of the lesson now. Hope you found today's lesson very fruitful and interesting. If you will follow this instruction, it is sure that you will improve quickly. If you have any question regarding this, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will answer you there.